Well, welcome to the Believers School of Discipleship, in particular, our Leadership Edge Fundamentals program. I am in conversation here with Yvette Sibanda, Minister Yvette, all the way from Harare in Zimbabwe. Minister Yvette, shalom to you. How are you doing? Shalom, Apostle. I'm doing very well, thank you. Yourself? I'm doing well, thank you. The weather looks good out in Zimbabwe. We are just very cold in this part of the world. <laughs> it's also cold this side, believe me. Wow, wow. I, I wanted to catch up with you because I know you, you've participated in the Leadership Edge Fundamentals program. But before we talk about it, um, tell us quickly, just very briefly, who is Minister Yvette? Okay, um, I'm someone who's in the marketplace. That's where my leadership skills are mainly based. So I'm an entrepreneur. I do have um, leadership roles within the church, but very minimally. So I'll speak more of the marketplace. Awesome, awesome. And, and I know you've part partook of the program and how did you get to know about the Leadership Edge Fundamentals? Well, I'm part of the Believer School of Discipleship. So whilst I'm doing the program of discipleship an advert was flighted about Leadership Edge and I thought, well, why not? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and so you registered on the program, you did the program, you had an experience. W won't you share with us some of the insights you harvested from, from this program? No, very welcome to. Um, I think for me, the greatest takeaway was that kingdom leadership is um, by divine design. Uh -huh. And it's a leadership that um, is much superior, as far as I'm concerned, one of the takeaways that I've got much superior to the leadership that we find out in the world. And um, it, it takes us to submit to Elohim, our God, who is our creator. It takes us to, to be led by the Holy Spirit. And it's driven a lot by humility. It's not puffed up, it, it doesn't stand out. You know, We don't go out there and say, I'm the leader. It comes naturally because of the leading of Elohim. It takes into consideration the people that you work with. Um, it's, it's driven by the power of prayer. A lot of prayer goes into it. So, you know, you become sensitive to the people you work with and the leaders that you are working with anyway. It works also on teamwork. We, we, we thrive on that. that. That's how the leadership then makes its greater impact. It's not a one-man band. That's awesome insights. Let's talk a little bit because you are in the marketplace. Let's talk about how, how does this equipping then help you in terms of your leadership in the marketplace? Is there any shift at all? Oh, yes, definitely. Because it's not selfish and because, you know, as, as I grow, because once you submit it to the word of God, you inevitably are going to grow and you want the others around you to grow. So the shift that I've made immediately is morning devotions. We, we have the morning devotions. There's that short time before we start work where we, we can actually share, we can actually pray and decide what we're doing during the day. That brings in a lot of buy-in from the team. You, you start off on the same note and you know we all feel like we're at par. So that helps a lot. It brings the team together much more. And you'll find that um, we're less mischievous, if I could use that word because we've all started off on a note where we agree on the standards that we're going to live by during that day. That, that, that is fantastic to hear and to hear how this is impacting on the marketplace, especially. Maybe just as, 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 as a take to cop the corporate world to the marketplace at large, what message would you give to them as it pertains to the benefits of this program? Well, I would, I would suggest that every leader, it doesn't matter what sector you're in, it doesn't matter whether you're in the marketplace, you're in the church, it's important to go through this program. It gives you a change of mindset um, where you actually realize that you cannot lead if you're on your own and you, you cannot be an effective leader if those around you don't grow. It has to be teamwork. We, we thrive on that, that there has to be that solid, solidarity of purpose and because we're guided by the word of God, you know, we don't reinvent the will. It's already there. And we've got, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ as the perfect example as, as a servant leader. And that is the leadership that is there. And it's the leadership that gets us the most results on any platform. 
Wow, wow, this is awesome. We obviously have a target to reach about 10,000 people in the next three months with this program around the world. Um, and, and I'm so glad, you know, that you've benefited from it. And we want everybody out there to know that it is available. It is a free program. It is accessible to anybody, anywhere in the world. But also that we've got a level two program that's coming up which is an extension of what you've done. And so once that is advertised, we would very much like everybody to take advantage of that. Yvette, thank you so much for your time and thank you for being an influencer in your world. We pray that the Father will continue to use you to impact as you serve after the model of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Apostle. It's been a pleasure. And I'm looking forward to level two. Thank you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.